I'm gonna give a tour of a bunch of the new features in Amplify Studio, which we just launched at reInvent. First, I'm gonna go ahead and create a data model so that I can link data to my UI components. I'll create an Airbnb type site, so I'll have a rental, and that rental will have an image, a name, a price and a location. Then I'll save and deploy. Okay, now I'm gonna go over to the UI library and you'll see that you can piece in a Figma file link here. So we also launched a Figma file called the AWS Amplify UI Kit. And the styling of this correlates with the Amplify UI library. So you can see that there are a bunch of primitives and also more complex components as well, like cards and collections. And you can duplicate this in order to make it exactly what you want. So I'll go ahead and do that. So the primitives page has all the primitives on it, just like it sounds like. And then the components are combinations of these primitives. So we can zoom in on them and I can make some tweaks. So for example, I can round these corners a little bit. I'm gonna bold this text, and then I'm gonna remove the background color. So then I'll take this URL from my Figma file and paste it into Studio. And you can see that all of my components from the Figma file are imported. So I can either accept or reject them. I can reject them if they aren't looking like the way that I want them or I don't actually need them for the project. So I'll just go ahead and accept pretty much everything. You can see that my component that I styled myself has the custom styling on it here as well. You can also do accept all if you wanna skip going through all of them. So now my components are loaded into Studio and what I can do is I can click into one and then I can link to my data from my data model. I can add a prop to this that is the rental. And this dropdown shows me all of my data models, so I'll choose rental here. And then I'll set the source of this image to be the rental image. It just does a random stock image <laughs> here, so that's why there's now a woman staring at me. So now I'm gonna choose the label and I will do the rental name here. And then this one I'm going to do the price, but I'm going to actually make it so that this has the dollar sign so I can do concatenate and make it so that this has multiple values here. So then the rental price and then I'll do per day. So now you can see that it says dollars. You can also shuffle through preview data. <laughs> so now it shows, I think that's Abbey Road. So I'm gonna go back to my content tab and actually add in some better data for myself here. So now I created a couple pieces of data that would more closely match what a vacation rental site would actually have. So now you can see that my treehouse shows up instead of just the random images. Okay, so now that I have this card component looking the way that I want it, I'm going to create a collection of these. I'll call it rental collection. And then I can either make this into a list or a grid. I can change the direction that it goes in as well. I'm going to make it so that there are four columns and there's also some spacing in between each card. I ran an Amplify Pulse and that ran some code generation. So now I have this Amplify directory with information about my API. I also have this models directory, which will allow me to interact with the data model that I created on the front end. And also I have this full UI components directory and this has all of those UI components that I created in Figma and then imported into Studio. I have to install the AWS Amplified JavaScript libraries and the UI React components. I'll use these couple lines of code in order to configure Amplify for my app. Then I'm going to use the Amplify provider component. It'll be at my top level. It will allow me to have the right styling for my UI components. I'm also going to import the CSS file. Then I'm going to import my rental collection. 
So this is all of my React code for my application right now. I'm just rendering this rental collection and you can see that it shows up on the page. And this is the code that was generated by Amplify. So you can see that it's using this data store binding in order to pull my data. And then it's creating this collection and it's rendering the card A component. And you can go look at that code as well. So it's really real React code. It's not anything magic or anything like that. You can use props in order to override this code. So I passed in the prop list and now they render as a list instead of a grid. You can see all of the different props that you can change in the Amplify UI documentation. You can also add overrides to different items within your generated components. So for example, you wanted to make it so that a form submitted, you could pass in a piece of code like this in order to do so. Another really cool feature is that a lot of companies have their own UI brands. And you can use Amplify to theme your app. So there is a new Figma plugin that you can install. Another common use case is that you'll want to add a custom theme to your UI. So you can either do this with CSS variables, you can do stuff with a JavaScript object, or you can actually create design tokens within Figma using the Amplify UI theme editor plugin. So this plugin allows you to change your color palettes, your all the different component colors and your brand colors as well. So if I change this to pink and yellow, for example, I can first apply it to the file and you can see that the button colors all changed and then also the storage turned yellow and then I can push it to amplify. And then when I run amplify pull, it'll have this theme object for me that I can pass to that amplify provider and have this automatically baked into my application without having to write much custom code. You can go to sandbox.amplify app dot com to get started and I would love to hear any feedback that you have while working with this.